check this out. A woman on the roads here in Denver apparently nodding off at the wheel. It happens to an estimated 250,000 sleep-deprived drivers every day. Scientists call it micro-sleep. If you fall asleep without even knowing it, sometimes you even have your eyes open. And it can last up to maybe 20 or 30 seconds. You're awake and suddenly you're asleep. ABC reporter Ron Claiborne tested it, staying up all night, then taking to a test track. He microslept a total of 22 times and had no idea. And if you're looking for a quick fix, caffeine apparently is not the answer. The experts say the only real solution is a nap. 34 million Americans have a cholesterol level that puts them at risk for heart attack or stroke, and for some, nothing seems to help bring down those levels. Now a medical breakthrough is helping. Sandra Miller likes to take old things, clean them up, and make them new again. I like to do whatever I can to update them. Right now, doctors are pretty much doing the same thing with her blood. It's going to help prevent her heart disease from getting worse and perhaps reverse some of the plaque buildup that is already in her heart. While she exercises and eats right, she's genetically prone to high LDL levels, the bad cholesterol in our bodies. The ideal level for people at high risk of heart disease is below 70. She's in the 300s. Now she is one of the first patients at UC San Diego to undergo LDL apheresis. This machine runs Sandra's blood through a filter that separates the plasma. The plasma portion is then run through a special filter that just absorbs bad cholesterol, returns all the good cholesterol, all the other plasma por proteins back to the patient. Sandra's LDL levels drop from 350 to 67 during the three-hour procedure. She will need to do this every two weeks for life. After two weeks, her cholesterol is back up in the 200s. For Sandra, to make her bad cholesterol good, it's worth it. Dr. Miller says while it's recommended that patients continue taking any cholesterol-lowering medications while going through apheresis, in cases like Sandra's, the drugs don't work and the biweekly treatment can replace medications. Now, doctors say anything that brings the LDL levels down, even for a short time, will help prevent heart disease. The procedure is FDA-approved, but so far just 60 centers across the country offer it. You can learn much more about this procedure at thedenverchannel.com. Just go to the Lifestyle tab and scroll over to staying healthy.